Every year, around 1,500 Australians and New Zealanders lose their lives on our roads, and tens of thousands are seriously injured. The majority of those killed or seriously injured are vehicle occupants, but pedestrians, motorcyclists and cyclists, our vulnerable road users, are also significantly affected. Over the past few decades, we've seen a general decline in the number of lives lost on our roads through improved road infrastructure, road user behaviour and, of course, safer vehicles. Yet there is still a lot more that can be done as we track towards our vision to eliminate road trauma. New vehicles offered to Australasian consumers today are now far safer than they were 20, 10 or even 5 years ago. This has been achieved through the influence of ANCAP's independent test and star rating program and the dedication of vehicle manufacturers to offer safer vehicles for their customers. Not only does ANCAP encourage the safest vehicle structures to protect occupants inside the vehicle, ANCAP safety ratings also encourage fitment across all makes, models and variants of the newest and most effective collision avoidance technologies. The safety features and technologies fitted to our vehicles continue to evolve, with new innovations entering the vehicle fleet each year. ANCAP plays a critical role in establishing the safety benchmark and building consumer awareness of new and emerging technologies, with the breadth and stringency of testing continually evolving to accommodate and encourage innovation. From 2020, ANCAP has again raised the bar to promote further vehicle safety improvements and address some of the new challenges on our roads. Here are the most important changes for 2020. Frontal crashes are responsible for more deaths and serious injuries than any other crash type. ANCAP's new Frontal Offset Mobile Deformable Barrier Test evaluates not only how well the vehicle protects occupants in a vehicle-to-vehicle head-on crash, but also how likely it is to mitigate serious injuries to occupants in the opponent vehicle, known as compatibility. This test uses a new crash barrier design and THOR, the most advanced frontal impact crash test dummy to date. The side impact test simulates two cars colliding at a 90 degree angle, a typical intersection crash. With the majority of vehicles tested by ANCAP performing very well in this test in the past, as part of the more stringent 2020 criteria, the severity of this test has increased, with the impact speed rising from 50 km per hour to 60 km per hour, and the mass of the impacting trolley rising from 1300 kg to 1400 kg. Regulations to protect occupants seated on the non-struck side of the vehicle do not currently exist, even though these occupants account for up to one-third of injuries in side impact crashes. To evaluate far-side occupant protection and the potential interaction between vehicle occupants in such crashes, two far-side impact tests have been introduced, undertaken in a side impact and oblique pole impact configuration. These new tests encourage vehicle manufacturers to fit countermeasures, such as centre airbags, to prevent occupants striking the vehicle interior or other occupants. This is particularly important in smaller vehicles. Traditionally, vehicle safety has focused on crash protection and prevention. However, what happens immediately after a crash is a crucial determinant of the chance of survival. Post-crash safety ensures that emergency services can safely access and extricate vehicle occupants and administer medical assistance to those injured. To assist first responders with the rescue and safe extrication of occupants, from 2020, vehicle brands will provide standardised vehicle information to ANCAP, highlighting the location of potential in-vehicle hazards in the form of a rescue sheet. Rescue sheets, highlighting the location of high-voltage batteries, fuel tanks, airbag inflators, seatbelt pretensioners and high-strength steel, are compiled into a centralised and readily accessible ANCAP rescue app which first responders can view on their way to or at the crash scene. Safety Assist crash avoidance technologies such as Autonomous Emergency Braking or AEB and Autonomous Steering Intervention have the potential to significantly reduce the number of crashes on our roads. Basic AEB systems which prevent rear-end crashes with other vehicles or impacts with cyclists and pedestrians have been rated by ANCAP since 2015 and will likely be mandated in the coming years. In expanding the breadth of AAB test scenarios and therefore encouraging early fitment of more sophisticated systems, ANCAP has introduced effectiveness testing of the newest generation of sensing technology, 
They can intervene in more complex scenarios, such as turning across the path of another vehicle or reversing into pedestrians. Finally, driver fatigue, impairment and distraction is contributing to a growing number of crashes. Attention assist systems, which take into account driver inputs, such as acceleration, steering and braking, together with facial recognition, detect signs of drowsiness or fatigue and tell the driver when it's time to take a break. From 2020, ANCAP is encouraging vehicle manufacturers to equip their vehicles with driver monitoring systems to address the increasing number of crashes related to impairment and distraction. The ANCAP safety rating system is continually evolving to ensure Australians and New Zealanders are offered the safest vehicles and newest technologies. And with that, the message remains simple. Purchase or travel in the safest vehicle you can. Look for a five-star vehicle with the latest tested year date stamp. It could save your life or the lives of those closest to you.